I'll be uh, uh, very, very brief. I mean, this is, of course, a wonderful initiative. Um, essentially, what the CEO is also saying is that with the ability of this sort of transaction to take place, we are not able to only save trees, but we are also able to uh, reduce our carbon footprint. <coughs> we are also able to provide a lot more transparency on the transactions. As you know, electronic transactions is the ability to be able to claw back very quickly as to where the money source was, where the money is going or was going, and indeed where the money will go. So it creates a level of transparency. It also positions Fiji to again be um, ahead of the rest of the Pacific Island countries in terms of positioning itself as a financial hub. And as we've seen that uh, if you look at the latest statistics as far as the different sectors contributing to our growth in our GDP, the financial services actually is now increasing quite significantly. In fact, the services sector is increasing quite significantly. Uh, as we've said also, we need to be able to uh, ensure that we provide a lot better uh, spread of our risk within the economy too. So the service sector is very, very important for that. There's enormous <coughs> potential for Fiji to become furthermore an ITC hub, which means that in order for us to be able to attract companies to Fiji, we need to be at the cutting edge of technology, adoption of technology. I mean, I see FNPF, I see uh, Water Authority, Fiji, FRA here. FRA probably to a lesser extent, but most certainly FNPF, FEA, Water Authority, Fiji, these are very sort of service oriented entities. So your ability to adopt this new technology actually will be very, very critical to ensuring that we take our people along with us. In the same way, for example, when we had the Help for Homes initiative and we loaded the, the money on the M-Pesa cards, the equivalent of that, many of those people who actually received those cards had never actually used an ATM card or equivalent of. Many of them had never even carried out an electronic transaction. Similarly, with the introduction of e-ticketing also, many people have never used such technology. But as we saw, and after the first couple of days of some issues, Everybody is now with it. What it does is that provides that level of access to information that we've never enjoyed before. So it helps us with better planning. It helps us to be able to, as a government, obviously, be able to know, as far as the buses are concerned, at exactly which bus stop, how many people actually get on, and exactly which time of the day do you have a lot more people on the buses. Do we have school kids hanging out the windows because there's like 70 kids on a 50-seater bus? <coughs> So it helps you with better planning. Similarly, with these kind of transactions, it helps us with better planning. It creates a lot more uh, fluidity within the system itself, the streamlining of processes. And government, as you know, is sort of leading the charge. And the Pankaj, of course, will really show you that we've also now logged on to the ANZ uh, platform, the transactive uh, platform, and how we're actually carrying out our processes. So I'd like to urge all of you, I'm sure the private sector will be very quick on the take. But I urge in particular the, uh, the entities, the statutory bodies, the state-owned enterprises to adopt this very quickly. Only yesterday I was uh, uh, talking to some people from the Ministry of Education, so the class six results are going to come out. So again, it's going to be done manually. Mm. So when I <coughs> talk to them about, uh, well, why can't we do all of this electronically? Why can't people access this electronically? Uh, they said, well, not all the schools actually have access to internet services, which is a fact. So, which means, it does not mean, therefore, we cannot adopt this new technology. It means we can. Those, of course, who do not have access to internet, we can actually make a special provision for them. But on that note, of course, government is working very, very hard in respect of ensuring that we have 100% network coverage throughout Fiji. So, with the universal service fund that we've actually been developing through the license fees that we charge, uh, uh, IT companies and also mobile phone companies, we're looking at installing more, uh, you know, uh, uh, towers throughout Fiji to get the network coverage. But the good news, of course, is is that we've got digital television coming along. And the ability of the technology that we've actually are implementing with digital television, you can also have data and voice eventually. In about a year or two years' time, we'll be able to have that. 
for somebody as far as living in Didia or Dekombia or up in the northern part of Yasawa can actually access all that technology. It's not just having access to free-to-air television, but also be able to access voice and data. So it'll really bring all Fijians much closer and also to, to the point, bring much closer to the financial services that can actually be offered uh, through the government initiative. So uh, I'd like to thank, of course, ANZ, and also I welcome the um, the announcement of the $6 a month uh, fee, which boils down to 20 cents a month, which I understand will mean that you can have as many transactions as possible. It also means that people are able to not necessarily have to come to the bank to queue up uh, physically, but also creates a lot more transparency, a lot more uh, safety too. You don't have to carry weights of cash, only when you need the funds do you actually go to the ATM machine and take out the cash. So we'd like to thank ANZ for this initiative. We will look forward to working with ANZ. It also fits in with our National Switch program. Uh, we've got, of course, uh, we hope in the next month or so be able to give the specs to all the banks, get them to then have the interoperability with the system that we're going to put in place. And again, they should bring down the cost of electronic uh, transactions. The point of all of this, ladies and gentlemen, is that we have to ensure, as we've always said, that with the uh, adoption of digital technology and IT systems, we must not forget people on the periphery. Yep. We must not forget them. Otherwise, we'll create a much bigger divide between those who actually have access to it and those who don't. The gap becomes even wider. So we need to be able to ensure that with all of this, the government's job is to bring all those people in the periphery, on, on the periphery, uh, on the margins, into the center. And we look forward to working with uh, uh, ANZ and various other banks in this initiative. So thank you very much. Thank you, sir. I think we should put our hands together for ANZ. Uh, maybe whilst I'm doing this, I'll give Pankaj to um, uh, explain to you what we are doing here. Okay, we've already initiated the transactions. That's, this is all transacted is all about. In, yeah, I think that's the kind of thing we need to look at, most definitely from uh, uh, Ministry of Before I leave this country, which is going to be very, I don't know when, but whenever I... Uh, if not, then uh, the food is waiting for us. This is a journey which we've started it, and I need everyone in this room to level. It can easily be translated or duplicated into the transaction system. So by all means, Come to Fiji. Uh,